congratulations on this wonderful work. Can you tell us what the challenge is about chore choreographing for a story as, w as well as alongside a piece of music and how that helps drive the story forward? Well, I, I really didn't, when Jacques invited me, I met him in Mexico, I was there by complete coincidence. And when I read the script, there was no indication of what the dance should be. It was absolutely not invited in the script. Compared to previous experience I had in cinema, when it was very clear that there's going to be a dance scene here, there, had, there was absolutely no indication. So it's been a year and a half of attempts, sometimes failed attempts, to understand also how I would work with the actors, because I was really on the way between Jacques and his actresses, which was sometimes really exciting, but also sometimes frustrating for both of us, actually. But then I, I think what I, we both really didn't want dance to be decorative. We didn't want it to just, because on the sake of being a musical, we needed to have dance. So I, I, at the beginning I said, I'm gonna work on your film, but I'm not even sure you will need me, because I don't even think you really want dance in that film. And then finally we understood what dance could bring. And I think the dance of this film have a lot to do with a sense of resistance, with a sense of, of trying to go against, like the first dance in the market, she's preparing a defense. So all the words, all the gestures are done to try to convince, or to try to, you know, to go somehow against. The same happened in the gala, the same happens when Selena is in the room and freaking out. There is, there is something that it's, it's, it goes, it's like dance is often like a weapon also. It's also there to kind of increase the, the hard pulse of the film. So we, we discovered it like putting like all the song, going through all the song and trying to understand, does that song need choreography? Sometimes it would be really too obvious, so too literal, and we say, okay, we don't need it. But then sometimes, okay, there is something that we can reveal from the character with the dancing in that scene. For example, the gala scene was not supposed to be a dance scene at all at the beginning. It came really, really late. When we understand how, how powerful Zoe was as a dancer, we say we really need to develop that and to really give her an extended moment when she can completely articulate, when she can show how much her character has grown, how much the rough movement of the beginning became like sharp blades. So, yeah, it was a really interesting process. And you just referenced the different levels of physicality between your dancers, but also trying to cr cross the language divide. How, how was that? How were those challenges to overcome? Well, you mean the, the different language between the... Your, well, the French and the Spanish. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we worked... I mean, it's true that working between Jack, that was mainly working in French, the, the choreography, the, the, the whole language of the film that is in Spanish. I work with, I had an assistant that's from Mexico, Gabriel Chesena, and we really worked on every single word. I needed to understand what the character was saying at every single moment so that the gesture would not neither be too literal, neither too abstract. So it was really interesting. I mean, I'm, I, we, we spoke English with the, with the cast and then I was speaking French with Jack. So yeah, it was an interesting kind of a, cross and mix of people that are so different from each other but tuned really for that experience. Awesome, well it's fantastic and congratulations on your work. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> hey, that's what they all say. Hey you guys! Hey you guys!